Hello friends, I am Nayesh Sheikh from blogtour.com and today in this video I'll show you how you can gain more shares and likes for your content and also expand your mailing list by using a plugin called Content Locker. If you have any content that people want to read then use the plugin to exchange read for likes or logins. Because every time someone visits your site there's an opportunity to create a lead and to potentially turn that lead into a customer. Don't let them leave without making that leap. And the plugin which we'll be using which is Content Locker Pro is really easy to use. It gives you access to the very most advanced techniques for growing your audience. But it makes it incredibly simple so that anyone can take full advantage. It is SEO friendly. It works with any WordPress themes. It is also optimized with mobile. It is lightweight so that you know it doesn't make your website heavier which would be really bad. It would increase the page load time and so on. It is developer friendly. There are two type of lockers over here. The first one is the sign in locker and the second one is the like locker. You know we can just like Facebook page. You can just give a tweet and follow someone and that thing will be unlocked and so on. There are 16 different designs available. We'll see one by one everything. You also get a share to unlock thing. You can get more likes on your Facebook page, more followers on Twitter, more subscribers on YouTube. In fact, I really increase, uh, you know, I really gained a lot of subscribers through this thing. I use this thing on my website. Okay, so this is very, very helpful. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so this is a small demo of what happens. Okay, we have this. Half of the thing is shown, but half of the thing is hidden. Okay, so to see this content, this part of the content, you have to either like the Facebook page, uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube channel and so on. For example, suppose you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So you can just click on this button. You can select which account do you want to use to subscribe to my channel. For example, let's use this one. Let's select this. Okay, now click on allow. Okay, once you do so, you'll be subscribed to my YouTube channel and this thing will disappear. As you can see over here, once we do so, this thing will be shown. Now you can see everything from here. So we have unlocked it. And another benefit of using this plugin is that you also get that users you know email address so you can use that email address to send you know newsletters and promotional emails so that is another benefit of using this plugin i'm using this plugin on my website if you go to my website blog com and open any one of the posts for example let's open this one so this is a tutorial on how to make a coupon website so whenever i make a tutorial like this how to make a wordpress website i provide all the images the css codes and everything for free so what happens is, as you can see over here, this is the free link because I am logged in. I'm getting this link. So you have you can just click on this button and download everything. So I don't provide these things for free. I require the user to you know sign up, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Only then they can get this thing for free. So that helps me to gain more subscribers. OK, so I'm personally using this on my website and I know the results are really good. So if you guys are interested then stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you like this video if this video helps you then give a thumbs up and also leave a comment in the comment section below that would be really appreciated. So the first thing that we need is the social locker plugin. So what you can do is open a new tab and type in blogdoodcom slash locker. This link is also given in the video description below. You can just click on that link. It will redirect you to this page. OK, so this is the plugin which we'll be using. I'm getting this download button option because I have already purchased it, but you will get a sign in or sign up button over here. So you just have to sign up with this theme and you'll get this uh, plugin or whatever plugin you want. But what I would recommend you is you have to click on this pricing tab at the top. And here you'll see you get an extended membership for only $87. So there's some sale going on. So if you're, you know, if you're seeing this, you're, if you're get, getting this extended membership for this small price, then I would highly recommend you to go with this thing because with this, you get more than 100 premium 
WordPress themes and 17 premium WordPress plugins uh, with this theme for only $87. So this plugin which we are using is also included in this and many different plugins are included in this list. So if you're getting this uh, for $87, $90, I would highly recommend you, okay? Because you're purchasing the, that plugin for around 30 bucks and you're getting this for 90 and you're getting so many themes and plugins. So I think that makes sense, okay? So once you have signed up with this extended membership or any membership, even if for single membership, then you'll see this thing at the top. Okay, so click on members area. And here you'll see all the plugins which we have downloaded, which we have purchased. So here we have Content Locker Pro. Click on this, it will expand. And here you'll see this plugin files. Just click on it and it will download the plugin file for you. Okay, here it is. I will cancel this because I have already downloaded it. Now let's cut this thing. Once you download that, we have to install this uh, plugin on our dashboard or on our WordPress website. So to do so, you have to hover this plugins at the left hand side and click on add new. Now click on upload plugin, choose file. And this is the file, the content locker pro. Click on open. Now click on install now. Okay, so the plugin is installed. Now click on this activate plugin button. Fine, so you'll see something like this. So we can just ignore this. Now what you have to do at the left hand side, you'll see a new option content locker as you can see and we have some different sub menus on that. So first let's click on settings from the left hand side under content locker and see all the settings. Okay. So the first one is social options. Now the button language, what language do you want? So obviously we want English. Second option is lazy loading. By default, it is set to off. You can on this. If you on this thing, then it will create the social buttons only at the moment when the locker gets visible on the screen. Okay. So this is just for better performance to make your site, uh, you know, faster. So you can make this thing on if you want. Now after that we have Facebook app ID, then Twitter consumer ID, Twitter, Twitter consumer secret, Google client ID and LinkedIn client ID. Now I'll teach you one by one how to create each one of them. Okay, so first let's create Facebook app. To do so, open a new tab and type in developers.facebook.com. Once you do so, you'll get on this page. Now what you have to do you at here you'll see my apps. Now we have to create a new app. So what you can do, you can just click hover this my app and click on over here, add a new app. Now you can put in any name. For example, let's put social locker. Okay. And you can put in a contact email and click on create app ID. Now just put in whatever it is shown over here. Now click on submit. After you do so, you'll see this page. Now this is the one, there are many different options, account kit and so on. We have to set up Facebook login. So select Facebook login and click on setup. Now for which platform do you want? Do you want it for Android, iOS, web? So we want this for web. So select this web, which says www. Select this one. Now put in your site URL, okay? So this is our site URL demo.nayashik.com. So let's put this thing. Let's paste it over here and click on save. Click on continue. Okay. Now you don't have to do anything from here. Now from the left hand side uh, over here, you'll see settings. Click on settings. Now here we see there are different options. You can change the display name from here. Then we have app domain. Just put in the website domain name over here, your website domain name. Uh, which is demo.nayashik.com or blogdude.com, google.com, whatever your website domain name is. And in the privacy policy URL, put the same domain name, which is your website domain name. Okay. And choose a category. You can choose any category. For example, I can, I'm choosing education. After you do so, just click on save changes. Okay. Once you're done, click on app review from the left hand side. 
now it, you'll see that this app is in development and unavailable to the public now you have to make it on okay just select this here yeah, make it yes you will see this pop up just click on confirm fine so this is live now come to your dashboard just click on dashboard from here now once it is live you'll see this green uh, dot over here now just copy this app id from here and let's paste it over here just paste this thing over here okay you can upload some social image if you want you can upload any file or something now the second thing that we have to create is twitter sign in button this is where also very easy just open a new tab and in apps.twitter.com now as you can see i have already created so many different apps now let's create a new one click on create a new app let's give it a name so let's type in social locker i'm changing the name because i have already created an application called social locker now in the description you can type in the description about your app i'm just typing in the same name again now put in your website url so you can just copy this from here and paste it over here in the callback url what you have to do you have to go to your setting page over here and you'll see this link which says create an app just click on that link and when you scroll down you'll see over here you have this callback url just copy this url from here and paste it over here okay and now tick mark this i have read and agreed to the terms and services and click on create your twitter application button fine so your application is ready now we have to generate keys and access tokens so you'll see this tab over here which says keys and access tokens just click on that fine so let's see okay let's click on this generate consumer key and secret click on regenerate consumer key and secret now from here copy the first one which is consumer key and come back over here and paste it over here okay so we have our consumer key now we have to copy this thing this is the consumer secret just copy everything from here and paste it over here fine now make sure you don't have any spaces over here okay so this is fine so this is how you create a facebook and twitter app now the third thing that we have to create is google client id now this is also very easy now what you can do you can click on this link which says create a client id now we need this link because here we have the callback url which we'll be needing so first thing we have to open this link console.developers.com in a new tab as you can see here it says console.developers.google.com slash project now here you will see i have already created three different projects but we have to create a new project so at the top you will see a button which says create project click on that you can name it anything so i'll again name it social locker and click on create okay so it is loading as you can see over here if you see the notification bar it is loading it is creating our app okay now it is it says one which means that our app is created now when you click on this notification you'll see this is the app which you just created click on that app now once you do so you'll see that this thing is selected over here okay here it says the name uh, of the project which we just created and here at the bottom you'll see this apis okay now what you have to do you have to add a new api so you have to come to this section the api section and click on this button go to apis overview it will take you to this page now here we have to enable some apis so first click on this library from the left hand side now here you have to search in for google plus so just type in google and plus sign okay not okay this is the one google plus api just select this and click on enable so this was the api key for google plus we also need one more api for youtube so again click on library 
and in the search bar type in YouTube data API version 3 this is the one select this and again click on enable now after that click on credentials from the left hand side you'll see this pop up click on this button and select the second one which says zero auth client ID Okay, it says to create an auth client ID, you must first set a product name. So click on this configure content consent screen. Okay, now let's put a product name. Let's put in social locker. Okay, and you let's put in the URL homepage URL. This is our homepage URL. Demo.nashik.com or whatever your URL is. If you want to upload your logo over here, you can upload the logo URL. Now you have some privacy policy and terms of service URL. You can just leave them blank and click on save. Okay, now you'll get this option. Select web application. You can name it anything. For example, instead of web client one, you can again name it social locker. And after that, you can put in your domain name so that you know which plugin, which uh, website is using this. For example, I can put in blog dude. Okay. Now we have two options. The first one is authorized JavaScript origin. Now here you have to put in your website name or your URL. Okay. For example, blog dude.com or something like that. Like he here we have demo.nayashik.com. And the second option is authorized redirect URIs. So you'll find this thing over here in this page. Okay, authorized redirect URIs. Now copy this thing and just paste it over here. Okay, now click on create. Okay, so it is successfully created. Now we have to copy this thing. Okay, the client ID. So just click on this button. It will copy it. It is copied. Now come back over here in the Google client ID, paste it and click on save changes. So we have created everything, our Facebook application, Twitter API and Google APIs. Okay. Now this was the most important step because if you don't do all these things, if you don't create all these APIs and IDs, then your lockers won't work. Okay. So make sure you follow this thing properly and create all the applications. If you don't understand this, what you can do, you can just, you know, replay this video you know, rewatch it and you will understand it. Okay. Now let's see the second option. This is the lock options. When you select this lock options, we have some things over here. For example, we have this debug option. It is set to off. I would also recommend you to set to off when you, this is basically for, you know, development purposes. When you set this to on, then suppose some there is some problem going on the content locker is not showing up then this if you if this thing is on it will you know display the error on your page okay this is the error why this is why it is not showing on your page now the second option is passcode for example let me explain you this let's cut all these things first now this uh, page is logged some section of this page is locked let's see let's open this link in an incognito window so that we can see that locker let's open this in an incognito window okay so as you can see over here this section is locked but what this option says is that whenever this code or any other code whatever you put over here for example i i'm putting it near unlocked or anything it's not necessary that you have to type in layer unlocked or anything you can just put in any number or anything for example let me put in unlock this okay now what happens is whenever this thing is present in your url then this uh, page will automatically be unlocked okay so for example you want to provide some uh, this link to someone and when they visit your website they say that they see that this thing is locked so you want them to see the unlocked version so you use this passcode so you can see the example over here it says demo.nayashik.com slash question mark and this code okay so let's see whether it works or not first we'll have to save the changes so click on save changes okay so what let's copy this portion question mark and unlock this now let's go to that link okay as you can see now at present it is locked but when i do some changes in the url when i put this question mark unlock after this link and press enter let's see what happens 
Now, as you can see, when I did that, this thing got unlocked automatically because it has detected that this code is present in the URL. OK, so this is what it means. Now, after that, we have few more settings like permanent unlock for passcode. Now, what it means is once someone has accessed this URL, so do you want to unlock this thing permanently? Because what happens is now he, ha he has this unlock thing in the URL. But when he sees some other page, some other post, then that thing will be locked because it does not have this secret URL. OK, so if you select this option permanent unlock, then if the person you know, unlocks one page, everything will be unlocked for him. So it's all up to you. Now after that we have this session settings. Now what happens is if you make this thing on then after the user has unlocked it he will have only 900 seconds which is 15 minutes to you know visit and read the blog and after that the blog will again be locked. So I don't recommend this make sure it is set to off okay. Interrelation is again the same thing if one thing is unlocked do you want to make everything un unlocked on the website or not okay. Now you can just leave this settings. This is some advanced settings. Okay, you can just leave it and click on save changes. Now we have subscription options. So click on subscription options. This is also a very important setting, the subscription option setting. First, what you have to do, you have to select the database and we can, you know, create a new database using MailChimp or any other service we will be using MailChimp. So what this thing is, what happens is see someone whenever someone unlocks your content, for example, whenever someone will unlock this content, this thing, this plugin will get their email address. OK, so what we can do is we can use that email address to send some newsletter and, you know, some discount coupons or whatever we want, some promotional emails to them. So this can do two works. You know, we get we get more likes on our Facebook page, more followers on Twitter and so on, more subscribers on YouTube. And at the same time, we can grab their email address and use that email to send promotional emails. OK, so here you'll see an option which says add newsletter service. So let's do that. So expand this thing. You can name this thing anything. For example, let's name it uh, uh, content locker. OK. And you can select the mailing service. I'm selecting MailChimp. Now you have to put in the API key over here. So to get the API key, just go to MailChimp.com. If you want to learn more about MailChimp and email marketing, I have a video on my YouTube channel. If you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see this video, which I recently uploaded. Here it is free email marketing. This is one hour long uh, video. This is very, very helpful. I'll give this link in a video description below. You can watch this video. This will really help you. OK, now coming on over here, you can click on login to get the API. Now click on over here and click on account. Now you'll see this extra options. Click on extras and click on API keys. Now here at the bottom, you'll see your API key. If you don't see your API key, just click on this button. It will create a new key for you. Now copy this key from here, come back over on this page and paste it over here. OK, now once you do so, you'll see all your list uh, will be showing over here. OK, so I have four different list. You can select any list from here. OK, once you do so, just click on save changes. After that, we have batch locking. We'll see what these things are later on. OK, then we have stats option. This is not very important. You can just leave this. Then we have front end text. For example, it would say sign in via Facebook, sign in via this and that. OK, so this is the name sign in via Facebook, sign in via Twitter and so on. You can just leave these things uh, as it is. Everything is set properly. OK, email subscription form. This is just the title, the placeholder and submit button uh, things. This is all set. I think this is really done well. So we can just leave these things as it is. Now click on save changes. We'll see this batch locking at the end once we create few lockers after that we'll see this. OK, now the last option is terms and services. Now there are some terms of services already created. You can see over here and also privacy policies created. If you want, you can so you can make some changes on this according to your website. OK, once you do all the changes, whatever you want to make, just click on save changes. 
Once you do so, let's start creating our locker. So let's first create a social locker. So click on this social locker. Now it will ask you what type of locker do you want to create social locker or sign in locker. I am selecting social locker. So what happens in in social locker, you have some different options and in sign in lockers, you have slightly different options. So let's see both of them. Let's see the social one first. So select social locker and click click on create locker. Now we can give it uh, any title. So let's give it a title social locker two. Okay. Now we have different options like Facebook, Twitter or, or whatever you want to make on. For example, if you want to make on Facebook, you can just click on active on. Okay. Select on to activate the button. Once you click on this on button, this Facebook uh, social locker will be uh, enabled. Okay. So this is at present four different things are enabled. So it's all up to you. How many things do you want to enable? Okay and URL to like what is the URL of the page which you want the user to like. So let me put in my page URL. It is uh, facebook.com slash blog dude. Okay. So what happens when someone, you know, clicks on this button, clicks on this like button, they will like this page. Okay. And you can change what this uh, button says, like, dislike, whatever you want. Okay. After that, we have tweet. If you want user to tweet about your website on Twitter, you can make this thing on and URL to tweet. So suppose if you want a custom URL, if you put in your website main page URL, the home page URL, you can select this. If you leave this thing blank, then the current page URL will be shared. For example, if the user tweets this uh, page, this page over here, then this link will be shared. Okay. This page link will be shared. And if you put in any specific page link, then that link will be shared. Now we can also type in some custom message to tweet. And if you leave this thing blank, which I recommend, then it will uh, tweet the page title and the URL. Okay. So I recommend that doing that. You can just put this double check off and via if in wire, you can put in your username, Twitter username. For example, I can put in real layer this is my twitter username and don't put that at the rate sign before this just put in your username if you put this username over here then that tweet will also you know include your username so that would be helpful for you okay after this we have google plus same settings if you want to make this active you can just click on on url to one plus uh, put in the google plus url page url then we have share. This is by default off. You can just make this on and put in the URL to share. If you leave this blank, then it will, you know, get the current page URL. After that, we have follow. If the, if you want user to follow you on Twitter to activate the link, see what I would recommend you is if you're using tweet, don't use follow. If you're using like, don't use share, use any one of them. So what I can do is I can make this tweet off and I can make this follow on. Okay. So if the user follows me on uh, Twitter, then the, that locker will be unlocked. Okay. Now make this thing on and uh, just type in the URL of the username to follow. For example, it can be HTTPS, you know, twitter.com slash real layer. Okay. This is my username. Whenever someone clicks on that, follow button they will be following this link okay my username is real layer so just put in twitter.com slash your username you can hide this username or you can show this username it's all up to you you can change the button title it says follow one you can change it to something else okay then we have google a uh, youtube which is very very important which i personally use here it is youtube i'll make this thing on then you can put in the channel channel ID, which you want the user to subscribe to. So if you want to get to your channel ID, what you can do is you can click on this thing over here, which says my channel. When you click on this in the URL bar, you will see this youtube.com slash channel slash this. So after channel, this is the ID. Okay. Channel slash and this code is your ID. So copy this, come over here, paste in this code. And button title, I don't want it to say YouTube. I want it to say subscribe. Okay, so you can change this thing if you want. Now you can click on publish. 
so once you click on publish this uh thing is created the social locker is created but we have some more options over here for example when you go to general okay now as you can see over here it says the content is locked please support us use any one of the following link to unlock the content now if you want to change these things you can make some changes over here for example in the general settings the content is locked please support us and so on and there are few themes available by default the flat theme is selected if you want you can some uh, use some other theme and when you hover this theme you can see the design for example this is the circular theme this is the drawer theme this is the glass theme and all these different theme so let's select this circular theme again we have a horizontal button layout vertical button layout and so on and after that we have visibility now hide for members i can select this yes or off on or off now what this will do is it will hide the locker for all the members like the administrator the content creator and so on show always you can set this off or on if you make this on then what happens when the user once the user has unlocked and after he refresh the page again the thing will be locked so i don't recommend this so make sure it is off okay now you can also select lock after thing if you make this on you have to select lock after how many days so once the user has unlocked the thing uh, and if you select like seven days so if the user visits your website after seven days again the content will be locked and again he will have to unlock it so it's all up to you if you want it you can have it i will unlock this or i'll just make this off now again relock if you make this on and if you select this uh, option for example one day then what happens is after one day the thing will again be logged okay now these are basically the same settings i don't know why they have given different options for them the next option is mobile do you want this locker to work on mobile yes obviously so make this thing on after that we have advanced now the first option is close icon make sure it is set to off because when you set to on what happens is you know user gets a close icon over here and when he closes this thing the thing will be unlocked so you don't have to you know like or subscribe anything once he clicks on that exit button this thing will disappear and the content will be unlocked so if you want you can set that option as well okay now you can also set some time interval unlock the locker after specific after specified time interval for example if you select 10 seconds then what happens is after the user visits this page and he doesn't do anything for 10 seconds then this thing will automatically be unlocked okay so you can select all these options and once you're done with everything just click on update okay now how to use this locker we have created a locker but how to use it now here if you see uh, at the right hand side you will see this manual locking and you have this uh, short code just select this copy it okay now let's go to the pay post any one of the post let's select this post click on edit now suppose in this post if you see we have two different rows this is the first row this is the second row now suppose i want to lock the first row so what i can do is i can just paste that short code over here and just take this short code and put it at the last okay so this short code will be at the last and the short code with the id will be at the beginning of this and we'll be locking this section okay so make sure your locking uh, short code is over here at the beginning and at the last and in between whatever comes will be locked so let's update and let's see the changes let's click on update now let's see in an incognito window at present this is locked but once we refresh this portion should be locked and this should be unlocked okay let's see whether that happens or not let's reload this page now as you can see the first section is locked and the second section is unlocked now if you want to unlock this you can just google plus this just click on over here select any email address for example let me select my email address click on next next click on allow and you have to share this post so to make it unlock now as you can see over here this is the url and this is the page which is getting shared okay the thing which we had to select the url so this is the current url which is getting shared you can see the thumbnail 
and you can see this post uh, content when we click on this share button once we share this this thing will be unlocked as you can see okay so which means this is working fine okay so this is how you create a locker now we have another type of locker as well when you hover this content locker you will see this sign in locker let's click on sign in locker now now we can also create a sign in locker now everything is same all the steps are same but what a sign in locker does is you know it will require user to sign in via facebook or twitter to you know enable or to unlock the content now there is one benefit of using sign in locker is that you know you can get users email address as well so they can sign in via facebook and once they do so you will get the users email address and uh, after getting that email address you can use that email to you know send promotional messages and promotional emails on their email address okay so here we have facebook you can enable this now default list we have created this content locker if you remember just a few uh, moments ago now we have another option which says create account if you enable this then what happens is the user will you know create an account for your website now i don't recommend this because this is basically for membership kind of websites so just make sure it is disabled now if you go to twitter all the settings are exactly the same there's nothing different you have to enable this then you have to select the default list which we created and then you have to select whether the user has to create an account or not okay so it's all the same thing once you do so just click on publish okay i forgot to give it a title let's give it a title like uh, sign in locker 2 okay now click on update now again you will get this short code over here now similarly you can use this short code and paste it over with and you can lock any section you want or you can lock the complete post it's all up to you okay now once you do so let's see the last option which is left the bulk option so let's again click on settings as i said you uh, earlier that i'll be showing this batch locking at the end because this is uh, what is this batch locking this is nothing but bulk locking okay now suppose what happens is when we cre uh, create a social locker or sign in locker we have to manually lock each and every post now suppose you want to lock uh, in bulk for example you want to lock all the post you want to lock all the post the second paragraph of all the po post or the second page or particular page and so on so you can use this batch locking now first we have to select the locker what locker do you want do you want the social locker sign in locker so as you can see we have social locker 2 which we created and sign in locker 2 which we which we created so let's select social locker 2 then we can select the type make sure it is set to skip and lock okay now we can also exclude some categories so for example at present we have only one category that's why we are getting this if you select this thing then this locker won't work on this category so all the posts under this category will be unlocked you can also exclude some tags and so on now this is the option the number of paragraph to skip so if you select one the first paragraph will be skipped and the second paragraph will be locked and this is how the locker will look now again similarly you can select page select the locker make sure it is set to skip and lock and the number of paragraphs to skip okay so you it's it's all the same thing okay this is how you do it now let's see whether this works or not let's click on save changes so we have skipped one paragraph over here okay now when we how when page and refresh now what should happen is this paragraph should be skipped and this paragraph should be locked let's see whether that happens or not let's refresh now as you can see when we refresh this page the first paragraph is skipped and the second paragraph is locked okay so this is how you create these lockers and these are really helpful as, as i said you in, in the beginning i have gained a lot of subscribers using this okay so i hope this tutorial was helpful if you find this helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos and give a thumbs up to this video if you have any doubt any questions any request for me you can leave them in the comment section below